Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do problem D, Rudolph and the ball game. And this is from Code Forces round 933, division three. So basically, there you're, you're, there's N people in a circle, and they're throwing a ball to each other, and you can, move, you can throw a ball, and it's clockwise or counterclockwise, and the distance is the number of like people it has to go through. And then, so just, and there's initially the player, it's on X, the ball. And there are the only M throws due to rain. And then they, they only remember the distances for each throw and the direction of some throws. And you have to, and you have to help them decide how many players could have the ball after M throws. So basically, just to look at it, if you, if two of the ball, you know, is a distance of five, and it'll be one, two, three, four, five, so it'll go to four. If you did it clockwise, then it would be one, two, three, four, five, and it would be seven. So that's basically what the distance means, and clock, clockwise and counterclockwise. So basically, zero and one mean e either clockwise or counterclockwise, and question mark means unknown. So it could be either. So yeah, for this first case, six, three, two, it starts off at two, there's six people and it's three. There's uh three different turns and they both have a, a distance of two with unknown. So this is basically how it, in, in the illustration is. The two can you get to six or four. Then after that, they it, it can just keep on going around in like loops. But then it can end up in either a two, four, or six hands. So that's basically it's a three and then two, four, six. So yeah, so basically how you solve this problem. So you just, you always just keep track on how many, like after each turn, how many different people could have the ball. And you just keep going with that. So you just basically have a set and it doesn't need to be multi, a multi-set because you only need because you don't print out how many ways are there for each person. You only need to print out the different people. So you start off with X, and then for each turn, you get how, the distance and also the direction. And I just let it be an integer for simplicity. And two means it's a question, a question mark. Zero means clockwise. One means counterclockwise. And I just created a new temporary temporary set. And then I loop through the all the current element, all the current people who could have the ball. And then if it's if it's not, if you can't have, if clockwise is a possibility, then you'd add on J plus Y, which is basically the current plus the direction mod N. And then it's it. And then if you mod n it's equal to zero, you'd have to do n. And then if it, and then if clock counterclockwise is not is an option, then you just do j minus y in brackets plus n, and then that whole thing mod n, which basically does the counterclockwise. And then the reason why plus n is to get the to prevent it from being negative, so then you'd have to add it back on. And again, if it's zero, you have to replace it as an n. And then, of course, I have to replace the at the the set with the new set. And then, at the very end, I have to just print out its size and then print out each number in it. And it's default sorted. Like if you ever needed that. So yeah, and this is basically the correct answer. So yeah, this is basically how you do Rudolph in the ball game. And you just basically need to, it's just pretty much brute force along the way with like having a set is also helpful. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.